अमर दीको खोवायो Kulkarni is here with me, who played a key role in the film. So, yes. Ali, just a week back, nobody was aware of this film, and suddenly there is this Gaga all over. I want to know why um, anyone was not aware of this film because this film has won the best Gujarati film national award. Right. This film was released all over Gujarat, and yeah. this film also made a mark in London International Film Festival this year. Right. So, it is not as if this film has come out. From nowhere, it is right, there. Right. It is quietly doing its work and making India proud everywhere. Right, but it landed straight into the controversy. Do you think that has given more mileage to your film? Uh, well, uh, controversy is something how we look at it. Right. I don't think the film's intention was to create any kind uh, any kind of controversy. Film is a it's a very simple small film. Uh, we had very limited funds. Uh, and the effort was very genuine right. there are three stories which which i interwined uh, which we get to see in the film i have a beautiful character i play kiran who's based in mumbai mm. who's traveling to uh, bhuj with her family there are variety of characters in the film there is a truck driver his cleaner there are two small children and um, it's a very nice uh, no nonsense film right you have been constantly talking about the innocence of this film what was about this film the shoestring budget film uh, seduce you completely uh, well um, i am a fool and i get fooled very quickly <laughs> i have been uh, gambling right from the beginning of my career right. my first film cheluvi was a hindi right. telefilm by girish karnad mm. and working with girish karnad and uh, getting trained under uh, satyadev dubey ji mm. who's my teacher right. has uh, added a lot of value to my life and i have always seen to it that i support good cinema hmm. i love good cinema right. or good literature uh, language was no bar right from the beginning i worked in tamil i worked in telugu this is my second gujarati film i have worked in english um, i have played a bangla girl i have worked in italian also and of course in marathi which is my mother tongue oh, okay. so i have been working in various languages and uh, uh, If you ask me what was the hooking po point for me to work in that particular language mm. it was it has always been the story right if i like the story i in have fact, you have worked in in a gujarati film before haven't you i have yes, yes. I have. so did that experience help in a way yes because i was more comfortable with gujarati right. and anybody who lives in mumbai should know gujarati mm. because um, it is dominated with marathi and gujarati True. people uh, True. mumbai True. True. so um, in this particular film in good road i had a uh, language trainer trishla patel our friend uh, was our tutor when it came to gujarati and i speak very mumbai gujarati right. so it wasn't as difficult essentially the good road is about uh, is about a child who gets lost and uh, his mother finds him in the end did you feel while shooting for the film that the good road would ultimately end into the oscar nominations not at all uh, that was uh, never on my mind because this was as i said it was a small film and the entire effort was to complete and release the film right. in fact my emotions were equally uh, uh, innocent as the film is because i got to shoot in uh, no man's land yeah. i shot in run of kutch right. so that is something where i really thought about my life my choices yeah. uh, the fights that we have amongst uh, different countries um, the dream was i mean i my heart was filled with uh, humanity and love when i was standing alone in the run of kutch right. when i could see no one around mm -hmm. me i i faintly felt the camera was towards this side right. i had lost the understanding of the directions it was a overwhelming feeling and i think that that is how i was true to the film right. and so is the film to its subject right and that is what has got it its success <laughs> right anurag kashyap of course expressed his disappointment because his film was not selected you have read all his tweets and you have been constantly saying that you understand his sentiments so when your film daira was not selected even for the national award what were your sentiments like so do you relate with anurag sentiments because of that completely not only daira but devrai or yallamma where i right. played lady macbeth hmm. so i felt that i do deserve uh, the national award um, this year that year and so many years 
and I have felt the uh, felt the similar amount of disappointment or at times jealousy that why my performance was not taken as seriously. True. And I did miss that trophy. I missed that ceremony that year. Yes. Um, but I was not well versed with the social media, right. and that's not my nature to express it. Right. I would have. I have always taken it as a challenge to myself, and I have always tried to excel right. in the next film. Right. So uh, you have correctly read my sentiments about Anurag, and I. I do understand what he must be going through as a producer right. he is not the director of the right. film by the way but don't you feel that it's one thing to be disappointed and it's completely another ball to ball game altogether when you show some kind of bitterness i don't think he has shown any bitterness we are trying to pick bitterness from others right. because if we particularly talk about anurag and karan johar right. they have they are very clear about what they are saying and there are other people who are reacting on the tweets have said n number of things and they have expressed their feelings with great amount of uh, uh, excitement and uh, uh, i i think it, they are more uh, painted emotions <laughs> people who are not filmmakers people who are no film critics they are also reacting upon uh, the decision that i feel is unfair that's right interestingly when uh, sri devi's english english was released we spotted you on the red carpet you had walk at the premiere we still right. remember did you i mean now we see that your film is pitted against her and won in the race so how does it feel does it come as a shocker uh, not really because um, i don't think this decision is to say that some other films were bad right. it's just saying that good road is uh, valid to represent india this year right. so i don't think i am here to compete with shri ma'am i am a ardent fan of her work and um, i will never feel that my film has beaten her film because i genuinely love english english and right how do you see the journey of the good road ahead till it makes to the oscar i am waiting to catch up with my team um, as an actor i will do uh, whatever is required to my fullest because in my capacity if i can support the film to the maximum i want to do that um, i definitely want my team to meet ex um, oscar winners <laughs> from india <laughs> beat shwas team uh, the marathi film which was chosen for uh, the oscars or lagan team amir and ashutosh um, i want my team to meet them and take some guidance from them right. about how to take this film forward right we wish you all the best and we we wish that the film makes for the oscar and you make india proud once again thank you so much